Where do I even start with this drawer? I'm actually disgusted. Ooh, wish me luck. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, if you're new here, um, I don't normally start my videos like this. I don't normally do kind of like vlog style content on my channel, but I just decided that for these few videos or maybe just this video I'm not really sure like how many videos this is gonna be yet but I just decided it was so much easier to film this on my vlog camera because it's so much easier for me to hold and kind of like show you guys the whole decluttering process I normally film back here which is where my bed is my bed is covered in stuff um basically I had a bit of a meltdown the other day because my room as you can see from behind me my room is a mess I am naturally a very messy person I'm not good at keeping organized but it's just got to the point where I need a massive declutter if you guys watched my video from the other day which was me like using product from the back of my makeup drawers all the comments on that video were like Soph you need another declutter I only did one like a few months ago where I decluttered loads of makeup but it's time again, I need to do that, I need to do it for my makeup, I need to do my wardrobe, um, I need to do my brother's room because my brother doesn't live with us anymore. I keep so much crap in his room, but that room is a nightmare. But I thought I would start the process with a decluttering of my makeup in my bedroom. So I'm challenging myself to finish this before my mum gets home from work because I've stolen two of her washing baskets. One basket is gonna be makeup to keep, the other basket is gonna be makeup to either give away to my friends or family um, if it's been used. Uh, I will send some of it to a women's shelter in, there's one in Wales that I send some stuff to, but they can't take too much stuff. I don't really know what else I can do with my used makeup because a lot of it hasn't even been used that much. I have done like used giveaways on Twitter before, but I don't really know if I'm like technically supposed to do that for like health and safety reasons or whatever but it's basically like I'm just giving makeup to a friend so I don't know if you guys have any suggestions of how I can get rid of a large quantity of makeup that's been lightly used let me know down below um anyway let's take you over to my makeup so I've got my baskets at the ready I know I'm gonna get judged for this I know I'm a mess and I know it's bad um my makeup lives in these drawers here um and yeah 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 it's to be honest this is like decent for me it has been so much worse than this i just want to say that i'm not going to be getting rid of like everything in here and i still will be keeping the majority like a lot of makeup just because i do test it on my channel and i don't just want to have like the same products over and over again in every video if that makes sense this is also giving you guys like a good overview of my makeup collection i guess okay so revolution hyaluronic fix keep morphe one i'll keep that the ofra one i haven't even used it by the way i'm sorry for the plaster on my thumb at least the rest of my nails look nice <laughs> okay right i guess for now the ones i'm keeping i'm just gonna put up here Okay, this hasn't even been used, so will I use it? Probably not. That's going to go in the giveaway box. Nip and Fab. I do like this illuminating one. I'm going to keep that. Um, my Mario Badescu facial spray. I'm not going to lie. I don't even really use this anymore, so that's going to go to someone else. I've got another one from Ofra, which again has never been used. Maybe once. That's going to go away. The MAC Fix Plus Gold Light. Um, I used this like once and it left loads of shimmer on my face, so I'm going to get rid of that. This is an I Heart Makeup Fixing Spray, which is really old. Maybe I should try and make it my mission to use that up. I don't know if it's even still on date, but whatever. Freedom Pro Priming Water. This is definitely out of date. This is like maybe three years old. That's just going to go in the bin, I think. Another Freedom one that's going to go... This Nip and Fab Mattifying mix Fixing Mist. I've never tried this. Somebody let me know if this is decent and I'll decide then whether or not to keep it. This one I only just opened and it's expensive. Amora Visca. Amora Visca. I don't know how you said that. I'm going to keep that. This Gerard Cosmetics one I used to like, but now that I, like, the last time I used it, it made my face itchy, so I'm going to get rid of it. Boohoo. I've used that once. That can go. My days. I've got another one of those. This Iconic London one is a bit too dark for me, so I'm going to keep this one. I don't need both of them. This Model Zone one genuinely looks like it's got mold growing inside it, so that is going gonna go straight into the bin it's got like lumps of like white stuff so we went from a full cram pack drawer to this i'm happy with that that'll do i don't need this many fixing sprays but it's better than what it was and i've got rid of quite a few where do i even start with this drawer it's actually overflowing like i don't even know how to get them all out i wish the drawers just kind of came out because <laughs> they're all so so the ones I'm going to keep, I've decided I'm temporarily going to put in this box and then I'll put them back in the drawer. Um, so Imogen's eyeshadows, I just used those in the video, they can stay. Um, I really like my Colourpop ones, so they can stay. 
All of the Steeler ones, they are expensive, so they can stay. Jesus Christ, like, I barely use any of the rest of them. Um, okay, this Revlon one, no. This Barry M one is actually stunning, I'm gonna keep that. I've got so many pigments in here that aren't even opened, so they can go, because if I haven't used them, and they've been in here for the past, like, six months unused, I'm not gonna use them realistically, am I? I'm gonna keep my Revolution ones, because I actually really like these as well, the, um, like, foiled eyeshadows. And I'm also gonna keep my Revolution loose glitters, because... I use them occasionally and they're kind of worth keeping. These glitter pastes though, like in hot red and hot pink, like am I going to use them? Probably not, so oh crap. All of these ones can go as well. This I've maybe used once, my NYX one. I've got lots of these NYX Vivid Brights cream eyeliners, but honestly like if I'm doing a colourful look I prefer to use a liquid liner rather than a pot. This NYX eyeshadow is so pretty. Um, I might give that to my friend Ellie because I think... I don't know. I think she would like it, maybe. I don't know. I feel like maybe I can't film all of this because there's just so much. So maybe I will have to come back with like the finished result. Oh my god. These Urban Decay eyeshadows I freaking love. They're called the... Um, I think they're called like moon dust eyeshadows, but they're so sparkly. That one's called moon dust. I love that. Oh no, I got it on my plaster. Like these are some good quality shit right here. You see that sparkle? That one is called Vector. These Barry M ones are so nice, but realistically, I don't need all of them. I'm just going to keep this one. Okay, right. I will come back to you guys in a bit. Obviously, I'm going to keep like the glitter glues and stuff because those are useful. But I will come back with the ones that I'm keeping. Okay, so these are just like some glitters that I bought on Amazon a couple years back when I was doing the Freedom Awards. Um, so I'm going to keep all of these just because I've got like every single colour and they just sit at the back here. Um, and then same with these like small pots underneath. And then these are just like chunkier glitters um from the gypsy shrine for like festivals and stuff so those ones are just gonna stay back there and then i've decided to keep these ones these two i'm gonna give to um my friend ellie i mean obviously my friends will get like first dibs on all of this stuff as well but this is how many loose eyeshadows i've just got rid of because i'm like realistically i never wear them so i've got rid of a lot So this is what the drawer looks like now. I've got like primers and glitter glues over here. I've got the Revolution foils. I've got my ColourPop shadows, that are two Urban Decay ones, um, a MAC eyeshadow. Then these are all of the liquids. So I've got like my Stila ones under here. Um, and then I've got like the collection glam crystals underneath and then just like liquid glitters. And then I've just put some of the loose glitters in this pot. Um, and yeah, there we go. That's that done. That's way less. And then I'm getting rid of all these. Um, this is brow products, liquid liners, and pencil liners, but they are all just jumbled together right now. I don't actually know <laughs> how I'm gonna do this. Like, there is just so much stuff in here. Oh, by the way, also I didn't mention, the stuff that I use on the regular is in these like makeup bags here and also kind of all over here and some of it in that drawer as well. So, so my kind of like everyday stuff uh, won't be in this declutter. I really wish that I had just done this as I'd gone along instead of just shoving everything I own into my drawers. Wish me luck. Okay, so eyebrow products are done. The ones I'm keeping are in here. And I got rid of a decent amount. Um, there's quite a lot in here, mostly like pencils and kind of like bigger kind of palette things. I did loads of swatching on my hand. I still feel like I don't have enough room for all of this though. <laughs> So I know that this still looks like a mess. I've only done the eyebrow products at the front. I'm going to tackle these in a sec. But to me, this is an organised mess. I've got all my pencils and pens here. I've got all my brow gels here. These are brow powders. And then these are my pomades. And then I've got my sharpeners here. So I'm now just going to tackle the liners. I'm just so annoyed at myself for letting it get this bad. Like, this isn't... This is about half of them. Who needs this many eyeliners? No one. Also, half of these are probably, like, out of date and dry. Why do I do this? No. Who 
was around on my channel when I used to be obsessed with the Miss Sporty Studio Lash The Meow Look eyeliner. This is such a throwback, but like, why do I still have both of these? They're so dry, as in like old and dried up. Like, why are they still in my collection? I don't know. I just had to share this discovery with you, but I'm actually disgusted in myself and in this. This is the PS Love Felt Tip Eyeliner Pen. I only bought this about, okay, to be fair, it was about two years ago. Can you see the f***ing mould on that? Look at this. That's disgusting. I need to go wash my hands. That's f***ing gross. Okay, so I think this looks a whole lot better. All my brow products are in here. Um, these are the eyeliners that I've kept. So as you can see, it doesn't go very deep. I've maybe got like 20 in here, which I know is still too many eyeliners for one person, but these are all of the ones that I would actually use um, and that are still, like I've still got enough product in them. So I'm gonna try and work my way through these and make use out of them. And then in this one, I basically just kept all of my colorful Makeup Geek eyeshadows just in case I ever decide to do like any colorful looks. Um, and then I've kept like, wait, I don't need this one that can go um but yeah then the black ones that i kept i kept a revolution smoky liner a miss sporty black one a makeup forever one and then i think there's an urban decay one in here as well um and then the rest of them are just like colored ones third drawer done and this is what the basket is looking like and this is what the bin is looking like <laughs> right next up we've got primers and concealers in this one and then the next drawer down is my foundations which i didn't declutter that long ago but why do I still have this? What are you doing in my collection? Get in there. Oh, this is ridiculous. I've also got more foundations in here and powders and stuff and oh my god. And then like I don't even know what is in here. Just a load of random revolution stuff I think. And then I've got even more revolution stuff in this one. I've got more random stuff in here. Like there's just so much. These are my lipsticks. Honestly, this declutter is going to take me forever. I feel like in this video, I might just have to do like four or five drawers. Okay, so primers. This one, which is the Cover Effects Custom Oil Drops, like the ones that are in boxes that I've never tested. There's no point me keeping because I've got so many that I don't need to try a new one. So I'm going to get rid of that. This MAC thing, I don't use that. That can go. This concealer can go in the bin. I've had that for years. Another MAC strobe cream. I don't really use this, so that can go to a better home. This Boohoo primer, I never used that. This was from Pound World. It was quite nice, but I just never use it, so that can also go in here. Okay, right. As usual, I'm going to sort through these. Oh, I don't want to get rid of them, though. There's so many that I do like in here. Um, and then I'll come back to you guys with what I'm keeping. I just need to try and work through these. Like, that one's too oily. Ew! God, this one's done on my hand. Ugh, I don't want that. Revolution ones. They can stay. This Smashbox one, I didn't, even, I didn't like it. By the way, if you're wondering why my jumper is like five sizes too big for me, it's because this used to belong to my dad and it's size extra large, which I am not extra large meant. <laughs> What's this? Cover effects blurring primer. I don't remember what I thought of these things. No, I don't want it. I don't like these type of primers. I like this one. Iconic London retexturizing face primer. It's another kind of silicone-y one. Not really a fan. NYX pore filler. I've never even used that. That can go to a better home. So again, I know I still have too many primers, like, for one person. But you can see gaps now. I've just got loads of them that I've put in there. And I do like to keep a variety of stuff. Um, but it's way less than it was. Like, it was overflowing. I could barely shut the drawer, but now I can. So that's good. So, concealers. Let's do this one. Um, I think it might be time for this one to go in the bin. So there's some that I've put in here, but a lot of them went in the bin because they were so old and gross. This is how things are looking now. Still like a bit overcrowded, but the ones that are worth keeping, I've kept lots of Maybelline ones, Collection Lasting Perfection. Um, I think this is, yeah, this is a Bare Minerals one, my Bourjois one, um, a couple of Rimmel ones, my Revolution concealers. Um, what's towards the back? More Bourjois, EX one. There's a Primark one, my LA Girl ones, Revlon Colorstay, an Essence one one 
Um, Naked Skin Concealer, and then my other Urban Decay concealers are just in my everyday stuff. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that. And then I kept my cream concealers. I've got a Soap and Glory one. I've got the one from Wish, just in case I need it for another video. I've got a Rimmel one, and then I've got this RCMA powder. Palette? Powder? What? Palette down the side. Um, so that is that drawer done. So foundation is going to be a bit more difficult because I only decluttered my foundation, like... A few months ago, I don't know, I mean, when I put the drawer back, to be fair, it was pretty full. There's just so many foundations, like, I genuinely use a lot of these because I always switch up my foundations in, when I'm, like, filming and stuff and just, like, in my daily life. Um, oh my god. And also I've got multiple different shades for when I'm, like, tanned and when I'm not tanned. And then I've got ones that I use more regularly in here and, like, oh my god, there's just so much. I know for a fact that I don't want this. Don't know why I've still got that. So this is like a BB cream, I've just like swatched a bit. It doesn't have SPF in it. I would normally just wear something like this if I was having a no makeup makeup day and I would want it to have SPF in it, so that can go. Oh, this one is separated. I didn't get along with this foundation, I don't know why I kept it. There's barely any that I want to get rid of. Okay, I don't need that, do I? That's the Poundland one. Let's face it, I never wear that, so that can go. Same with this sleek one, I never wear that either, so that can go. Oh, but there's just so many that I do want to keep. Wait, okay, this Rimmel one, I never really use that, so that can go. Foundations are expensive, and I use a lot of these on rotation in videos and stuff, so... And then in here, I've got more foundations. These are the ones that I use all the time, so like, the Revolution one, I've got my um, Maybelline, I've got um, L'Oreal True Match, I've got the L'Oreal 24 Hour, I've got my Cover FX Power Play Foundation. Um, I use these a lot, so those are gonna stay. And then also, same for the powders, like, I use all of these powders kind of on and off. Oh, the one that I don't use is this collection one which I used in a video the other day that can go and I also don't use this one which is the BH cosmetics one but other than that all of these powders I kind of rotate between okay these are beauty blenders that's fine but in here I've got some lashes which I just never use I think they might have been from eBay but I just don't use them so they can go and they haven't even been worn so they can go to that home you know what let's clear out this drawer because it's just taking up unnecessary space i don't even know what's in here um this is a revolution blush palette which is nice but i've got one that's really similar so i don't need that oh oh my god picture of me and emma giant revolution highlighter palette never use that that can go empty box missed again oh my god this is the first camera that I ever filmed on on my channel. The Panasonic Lumix FZ150. This was my first ever YouTube camera. Oh my god. I'll come back and show you what I've kept. Oh my god, you guys. This is the Ultra Blush Palette in Golden Sugar 2 Rose Gold. Just a little piece of interesting information. This highlighter is actually what inspired the gold in my highlighter palette with Revolution. So I've pretty much emptied a whole drawer here. The only things I decided to keep were that blush palette. A Revolution eyebrow palette, um, obviously the camera, the picture, and then I've also got this, which is like a kind of clicky pen lip liner from I Heart Revolution. That's it. The rest of the stuff went in here. And then if you're wondering what I keep in the bottom two drawers, this is where I keep like my sun cream and tanning products. Okay, so I just had to take like an hour break because I've been standing on my feet for like two and a half hours and I was severely dehydrated. So I went downstairs, got a snack. I've just been watching a few YouTube videos. I'm back to it now. I think I'm going to do my mascara drawer because it's got loads of like individual eyeshadows in it and loads of old mascaras. I think I'll do that before I tackle my highlighters and eyeshadow palettes because my highlighters and eyeshadow palettes were kind of decluttered more recently. Let's just keep going. Okay, so this right here is my mascara drawer. For a start, I just know that I want to get rid of loads of these individual eyeshadows because I never, ever touch these. And most of these have barely even been used, so they can definitely go to another home. I don't know why I keep these fake tattoos in there. I'm going to put them somewhere else because they're really annoying. Lash Perfect Mascara. I've never used that, so that can go to a better home. Um, I'm going to keep my Subversion Lash Primer because I quite like that. This L'Oreal Mascara, I'm pretty sure, gave me like some kind of reaction, so I'm actually going to get rid of that and I'm going to put it in the bin. I didn't mean to just drop it in there. This Kiko one is really, really old. The thing is, like, so many of these are so 
old like this tart one is so old why do i still have all of these uh this w7 one i'm not a fan of oh this Gigi hadid mascara is actually pretty good i see i need to just use these up right well these ones can go in the bin because they're done with this mac zoom lash i got for like my 16th birthday so that needs to go in the bin this buxom lash mascara i've never tried so that can go to a better home this one is a technic one i think that's really old that can go right which one of these can go lash sensational i really like i've got waterproof lash sensational which i'll keep for holiday to be honest most of these i feel like i'm gonna keep but now that i don't have those eyeshadows they can just go in there and i found another dried up collection collection lash surge that can go in the bin this miss sporty one is old that can go this tartis pro mascara is so old why do i still have that the rest of them are still usable and kind of in date and i know this is a ridiculous amount of mascaras to have but i may as well keep them and try and use them up just because you can't really like give used mascaras to other people so i may as well just keep them for myself it's either that or they go to landfill so i'm just gonna hold on to them for now i think I keep lashes in here, but I'll save that for another day. Let's tackle the highlighter drawer. This one's gonna be tough. You're currently balanced in a drawer. Um, okay, right. I'm gonna have to be drastic here. Have I used that recently? No. Imogen's is new. To be honest, like, I don't even need this one because I've got the, uh, individuals of the shades. That can go. Don't want that. I like this one. Colourpop. Haunted lights. Don't need that. These Revolution palettes are stunning, but the only one which shades really works for me is this one so i'm gonna keep this one get rid of these two but they're so pretty ofra all of the lights yes please nope i never use that one cover effects never use that what a throwback these primark ones are stunning anastasia moonchild since i decluttered my highlighters i have not used this that can go i'm probably actually going to sell that on depop because i paid 40 pounds for this even with these like i just don't really use them is this even a thing i don't even remember the aurora glow kit oh yeah looks like this that also might go on my depop like i have all of these individually i don't need the big palette oh my god what a freaking throwback these were the times where I used to do revolution hauls on my channel and go to Superdrug. Well, it was before they were even in Superdrug, I'm pretty sure, like in my local store. I used to order off the revolution website, like loads of products and do revolution hauls. And that was before I even had worked with them or met them or anything. That's madness. I'm just going to have to keep this because it's sentimental. <laughs> so I may not have any type of order to my highlighters now, but at least there's... Like, lots of free space. If I want to add more in here, I can without it overflowing. Um, I just couldn't figure out really how to organise them into, like, sections. I tried to put more, like, palettes over this side um, and the loose ones over this side. But that's my highlighter, so now I can start, like, trying to tidy away other kind of bits that are just all over here. And then in terms of these two drawers, my eyeshadow drawers were probably the ones that were sorted out the most recently. So I don't actually think there's anything in here that I want to get rid of because I did them literally like a couple of months ago and then this is my high-end eyeshadow drawer so i think i'm going to leave those ones and then honestly this drawer right here um bronzers and stuff again i didn't do this too long ago i just need to rearrange everything so that it fits in better um and to be honest right now i've been filming for so long i can't really be bothered to go through this so i think i'm just going to leave that one for today so i think what i'm going to do now is just tidy up kind of like what's around the whole area that's just everywhere um, and see if I can fit stuff back into drawers now that there's space. This 
is the finished result. I know that I haven't done everything, but I've made a good start. Um, all of these drawers are now, well, a lot more organized than they were before, let's say. Um, and the makeup that I'm getting rid of is ridiculous. I've pretty much got an entire basket full of makeup. And then there's just a couple of bits that I'm gonna depop. I still need to sort through all of this and decide through, decide what I'm doing with it. So I think I'm gonna end that decluttering video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've still got a lot to do, like a lot to do. I've got loads of stuff in my brother's room that I need to sort out. I've still got loads of other drawers that I need to declutter. But let me know if you would want to see me do that. Also let me know if you wanna see me do my wardrobe. I'm not sure how I would film my wardrobe. Um, but yeah, if you want to see me do my wardrobe, let me know. Question of the day comes from Emma Brennan and she said, how do you keep your hair healthy after many different dye jobs? Well, pretty much like the top half of my hair is actually like my natural color and then the ends are like bleached. The very ends of my hair are pretty dead. I'm not going to lie because they've been bleached like quite a few times, but the kind of top of my hair to mid kind of length of my hair has been done with Olaplex. It was dyed with Olaplex and it's only kind of like balayaged. So it doesn't go like right up to my roots. So that way, like not all of my hair gets covered. Um, and because I do have quite a lot of my natural color at the top of my head, that's like a lot softer because it's not been bleached obviously. Um, so that just stays shinier. So that's why I think my hair looks quite healthy. Um, but I would just say like, I don't do anything in particular like that special to it. Um, I'm trying to use less heat on it at the moment. Like I use heat on it maybe like twice a week instead of every day like I used to. Um, and yeah, I don't really do anything that special to it to be honest. I just make sure that when I do get it bleached, I use Olaplex. Like at the salon that I go to, they use Olaplex because that's a lot better for your hair. There we go. I'm going to leave this video here. If you guys have any more questions for me, leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day. And I will see you guys in my next video, which will probably be in my usual setting. Bye.